What's up guys, this is Cody. Today we're talking about Cover 4 Quarters against Gun Bunch. What's up guys? I uh, want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, um, this is a little bit of an in-depth lab session video. We have other videos on our channel as well that you can check out. If you have any questions, be sure to text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner. Um, but basically what we do on the channel is we try to do our best every single day to get better as a Madden player. Try to learn new things, new strategies and tactics. And so one of the things we're diving in deep on our channel right now on is the cover four quarters against the meta. And the reason why is I believe the cover four quarters might be the best way to play match defense right now in the community and for me it's been locking down a lot of different offenses but what we want to do is we want to understand both the strengths of it and the weaknesses of it so that we again as a really good coach told me one time the reason i run this is because i know how to fix it right i know what the problems are and i know how to fix it so we want to know what our problems are in our defense so that we can prepare for that anyway last thing i'm going to say is if you want to subscribe we upload videos every single day it's completely free for you to subscribe and all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen okay let's dive right in here so gun bunch i'm i'm not in the i don't have the seattle bunch up but it's not that big of a deal the routes are very similar uh, I'm, I'm gonna roll with this one right here i could audible over but it's not really worth it to me. So we got Z spot, bunch trail, flood, bench pivot. Those are kind of the primary plays. Um, and then we're gonna we'll, we're gonna come out in verticals. Okay. So we're gonna work out a cover four quarters. Now we talked a little bit earlier about this. So we're gonna put auto flip on, auto alignment to default, ball in air defense to play ball, cornerback matchups on balanced, option defense on conservative, and then these are all gonna be on default for right now. And we might change those as we roll through this. Now, uh, I like to audible into cover four quarters out of nickel normal from 335. Uh, I have a whole ebook on 335 and 335 wide and why these two are the best two defenses in the game. And then we're obviously expanding that a little bit to nickel normal um, so that you can really kind of complete your defense. So if you want to get that full ebook, that is in the description of this video. Um, if you want a free sample, just text me. My number's in the top left hand corner. Okay, so we're going to go to cover four quarters from nickel normal. That's what we're going to do, okay? Or from nickel three through five. So gun bunch. Now, most of the time, people are going to run gun bunch to the left side or the um, to the wide side of the field, the trips receivers, the three receivers to the wide side of the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to lab this against a couple of the meta, for, meta setups from gun bunch. So we're going to go to uh, cover four quarters. Now, we talked about this in the last video, but basically what we decided to do is we're going to take this linebacker that comes down, Adrian Amos, and we're going to put him in a three rec, and then we're going to put our user into a deep middle third. The reason why is just to kind of mimic what we would do with our user, because really our user is going to be in this box right here. If you, if, you, if you literally put it in a box, that's really where we want our user to have to be able to roam. We can cover this whole box right here, maybe even all the way back into this area. Okay, so by putting him in the middle third and starting him right here, we can kind of imitate what that would look like. All right, so one of the most popular setups out of Gun Bunch is the play Z spot. It's probably the one that I want to start with the most. We're going to smart route Lazard. We're going to put Valdez Skitling on a out route. We're going to put Tunyon on a streak. And then we're going to put Adams on a little drag route right here. We're just going to watch how this works. Obviously, we're going to take a sack, and then we're going to go into instant replay and kind of break it down for you. So just watch the routes on the play here, and we'll see it defends it pretty well. Uh, it, it actually, I mean, it pretty much defends it perfectly. Um, let's take a look at this at replay, kind of what happened. Uh, but this pretty much locks down one of the best setups in the entire game. Um, this Z-spot setup is super, super good. But if you watch how this plays it, this cover four quarters, uh, what we see here is the safety at the top takes the tight end. He takes the vertical. I don't like that the tight end gets double teamed. I, I really don't like that. Um, I would, because you don't need to, I would rather him do something other than do that. But essentially, he double teams there. Out route is taken in man coverage perfectly. And then corner route is taken, matched off south, with outside leverage. So what that practically means for our user is we just need to take care of the, uh, we just need to take care of the drag route, which we're already going to be in that area anyway. So, so far, so good. Um, I mean, if, if, we can, if we can defend every play from Gun Bunch like this, this is, this is probably the best Gun Bunch defense in the entire game. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to run the same setup, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on a flat route and just kind of see um, just kind of see how, how the defense does with that. So we're going to do some adjustments here. But that's it. That's the only adjustment we're making. We're just putting the three rec. We're bluff blitzing the linebacker that comes down in the line of scrimmage as a three rec. And then we're and then we're going to basically um, use the middle of the field with our with our users. So let's take a look how this plays here, and it plays pretty much the same. 
I mean, pretty much everything's taken away. So that takes away Z spot. Okay, so we got that out of the way. So good job uh, by that. We're able to take away Z spot. Now the next thing is we need to see how we can do against something like um, like bunch trail, right? Bunch trail. So what would people do at a bunch trail? Uh, we're gonna smart route this guy. Now I don't have a crossing route, but I'm just gonna put the tight end on an in route, and then let's just do. Uh, let's see here. We'll probably put the running back on a swing. And then I don't even know what we would do with these other guys. Let's just put them on a flood concept, a little out route and corner route, and uh, and see how this see how this defense plays with this 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 play right here. So we match, we match, we match, and the post route's taken away. So good job, defense stops it. So we've taken away bunch trail. So bunch trail is pretty much out. Um, so good job. I mean, it, it does exactly what we needed to do. It matches onto the the routes really really well so far. Um, and again, you know, I heard somebody talk to me about a little bit about defense, and they said that, you know, match coverage is the most realistic imitation of defense right now. Um, but unfortunately, Madden has has kind of wronged it over the years. So hopefully, they're they're working to fix it. But most real NFL teams don't use spot dropping zones; they run match coverages. So, anyways, again, just a quick reminder: if you want to get that deep, the full ebook for this defense, the links in the description. Uh, but we're going to continue to work here out of a couple of things. Um, Okay, so now let's try bench pivot, one of the more popular setups here. And we're going to basically do this right here. This setup is very simple, right? And motion him out and snap the ball. And let's see how this plays. And it does really good. Takes everything away. Nothing busted. Nothing nothing busted at all. So good job. Now what I want to do is I want to test some of these flood concepts, but I want to test them against... Um, a couple different like different players on different things so uh, let's go with Z spot and this time we're gonna streak circle we're gonna do that setup right there okay let's see how that plays see if anything breaks nope pretty good okay good job good job defense all right it's playing right it's playing it's playing what it's supposed to do the match is not breaking which is good um, because the last thing that you like you know I mean I can deal with one play touchdowns over the middle because I can use her that I can't deal with one play touchdowns on the outside, right? That's what we're trying to prevent. So um, let's go bench pivot this time, and this time we're going to do that setup and see if anything breaks here. And we just found something that broke. Shoot. I mean, he gets there, but not really. Like, and I think that's my user, isn't it? Or was that that was Will Redmond? All right, I think we just found something that broke, unfortunately. So let's try to figure this out. Watch the circle. Um, what should happen is this safety here should run vertical with the vertical. We'll see if he does or not. Um, and then our user needs to be in a deep blue. Okay. So now let's watch uh, bench pivot. And we're going to do that right there. Okay. And let's just see if anything breaks. And, yeah. I mean, it, it's... That's that's a that's a thing. That is a thing. So it looks like the coverage. Um, it, it, it looks like the coverage does fairly good, but against this bench pivot, if they streak the outside receiver, it kind of breaks it a little bit. And I don't know why, because I don't know why that. Like this guy should go with the circle receiver. I don't know why he doesn't. It might be because it might be because of the tight ends wiggly route. Um, let's look at it one more time here. Yep. See how he, see how he kind of freaks out for. I mean, he gets back on the ball okay, but it's like if you see a streak, you got to go to that. So, so now you start to work through adjustments. What does adjustments look like? What does that mean? But that that's a little bit of a beater right there on this on this right here. So, unfortunately, you know. Cover four quarters. Um, what you would have to do probably is probably deep half this guy. You know, and, and the only problem is I'm sure the problem is when you start adjusting these match coverages, it tends to break something else. Okay? It tends to break something. So like for example, now we'll go to just a simple setup on a Z spot and it might break the whole defense. And it doesn't, it stays pretty good. Okay. It stays pretty solid. Okay. So it looks like to me, um, I mean, shoot, even if you, I wonder if you re-inside quartered him. 
against Bunch. Let's just see how this plays. So we're going to go to that same setup out of Bench Pivot. And it might, because he's an inside quarter, it might actually break it. I don't know. We'll see here. Watch that guy. No, he stays on him this time. Okay. So if you re-inside quarter him, he does fall back, which is good. Um, because that means it doesn't completely break the defense. Um, so now, let's see. Let's try some other things that they're going to do to try to bomb you out of this. Um, let's see here. What's another setup? Let's go to Flood and just see if anything breaks out of that adjustment. So if we uh, adjust it and we just basically put this put this guy in the inside quarter, now this is going to ruin some of the matching principles because he's going to drop back no matter what. Um, nope, it doesn't break it too bad. I mean, the outright is there, but they kind of sit down on it uh, relatively well. So basically, if we re-inside quarter that other guy, um, it looks like it's going to do okay. Uh, here's Flood again. You see the flat's taken away. The out route is not taken away, but it's kind of it, it's kind of dicey. Like it's definitely kind of dicey. You don't want to throw that. And then the streak is obviously taken away. Another thing that you have to test with bunch is you have to test some of the motion snapping too, because match coverage does play different depending on if it's in two by two or three by one set. So if they motion over, you know that might change things too. But let's try just that motion out flood. This is like John Beast. He likes to do this. Um, and you see, no, it does okay. It does. It does. Um, it does make that out route wide open though, unfortunately, because if you and it might honestly be one of those things where if you just take your user and if you see circle run deep, that's your play, right? If you you know, and that's where that clear out FC out play would probably be really good. Because when they motion out a flood, this motion snap tip I'm pretty sure it will basic yep, it'll basically make that a double team. Yep. Okay. So what that practically means is the out route is still open from flood, unfortunately, even out of this coverage. So you might have to do some other things. If you see, you know, if you if you see this, you know, what I, ideally what would happen is this. Um, let's try. Um, let's try this. Let's try this adjustment. Let's try manning up the slot here, and just seeing how that plays in flood. It, he might be open, but let's just see and do kind of a similar thing that we did uh, from trips. But again, here, yep, he plays it very nicely. Okay, so that that could help a little bit with the out route is just by manning that slot up. Another, th um, I don't know if let, let's try uh, really quickly make sure it doesn't continually. Uh, let me make sure that 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 doesn't fix every issue because sometimes you know again with match coverage it's just so tricky. Sometimes one, it's just such a it's not a glit it's not a glitchy coverage. It's just something that I think I personally don't understand as well as I need to, and I don't think a lot of people that play Madden really understand it. So you have to lab it. You have to work on it. So anyway, let's try to see if this coverage still breaks. Now it doesn't break as bad. I mean, it breaks, but it doesn't break as bad. That's interesting. So just by that one, see, and that's what I'm saying, these little subtle tweaks, and that's why you jump in the lab. Um, these little subtle tweaks can change everything. So if I man this guy up onto R1, heck, let's test. No, I don't want to test that. Let's. Uh, so if I man him up on R1, Watch what happens out of this uh, from, from bench pivot. That's the play that broke it, right? That's the play that broke it last time. Watch circle. See how he doesn't, like, hesitate as much? And, like, you can get back on that ball. That's actually huge. To me, that is huge. Um, okay, so that, that's that's a big deal. So you can, you can probably get away with just man, manning this guy up. Um, the next thing I want to test here is out of like a bench pivot play the only thing we didn't test yet is what if we motion this guy to the right he should get matched up the way and tight end gets matched perfectly good job okay defense done break so those are some of the most popular setups out of gun bunch we talked a little bit about the post route um let's see here another thing we need to talk about is let me, let me check my other plays here. I went over, I went over all the plays here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll talk about verticals really quickly, and we'll just see how this does against verticals. Again, we're going to use that little adjustment that we just created there um, with that two-man rush, basically. And again, you're using the middle of the field, obviously. So verticals here. Let's just see how this plays it. And it does perfect. I mean, it matches them up perfectly. So now let's test... Um, 
let's test some different adjustments that we might make that would make the verticals you know potentially pop for for a big play so uh, let's see here another thing we could you know we might do something like this right this is a very popular setup out of verticals motion them out you know maybe do that right there another thing is maybe this like maybe it's an in route you know what it means because he's gonna match across and then maybe this crosser gets open nope everything's covered they match perfectly so good job defense so as you can see um, you know we didn't go over everything you can do out a bunch but we went over a lot of stuff that you can do and we fixed some problems we found some problems but obviously we fixed some problems as well now uh, one question about it is what about us what about like a post route from the left so let's say let's say they run like a post route left side I'm thinking like mesh post right so you run a hitch um, a flat and then let's say you run like something like this let's see how this does this is a popular setup at a bunch right so you have your setup here again you're using that left side or that middle linebacker and we'll see how this works on a flip type of situation and that post route gets matched all the way up pretty good coverage and we take it away so you can pretty much take away a lot of different things we didn't we weren't able to test crossing routes yet we'll probably test those in a future video but that's bunch that's quarters coverage against bunch um, some things you need to know things you need to be aware of problems you need to solve but all in all plays it pretty good plays it pretty pretty dang good so anyways that's a little bit about quarters coverage against gun bunch if you have any questions be sure to text me my number is 812-216-3644 or if you want to get a free sample to our 335 uh defensive guide that is uh that's available to you by texting in as well and if you want to get the full defensive ebook that link is in the description also if you want to come by the stream tonight and hang out i'll be streaming madden 21 at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock.